We're going to look at singletons now, and for Kotlin, singletons are a lot easier to create than Java. One reason for this is with Java, you have to create your singleton with a class. You have to check when you create a new object of that singleton that you get the old object as well. And that creates a lot of boilerplate code, and with Kotlin, it, get rid of, it gets rid of that. Just by putting in object and bank. So object and then your class name and Colin does all the rest for you. It maintains that singleton and makes sure that there is only one. And there are subtle differences with how we call this object. And I'll show you that after we create it. So first thing we're going to prove that it's actually a singleton. And we're going to create money. And we're going to get a get money from bank from the money now we don't do exactly as in java we do bank dot get instance with colin we're just doing bank dot money plus 10 for example So we can do plus and equal. Now we're just going to guess we're gonna do bank money. Bank that money. Bank money. That money. And let's just put this in a, um, a variable. It's going to work the same exact way, but let's just put it in a variable just so we can actually start show that we can um, it's two and that's it. And run this. Now we see that we have one that's zero and another one that's 10. So, so it did work, but um, it's calling it differently. We don't need this bank one or and we don't need this bank. That's mainly because we have to call it through the object. It's not, it's um, a little different, but it makes sure that it's the same instance every single time. And that's singletons for Kotlin.